Well, there's no question this one was definitely a dinger and Northeast Ohio is no stranger to big snows, but it doesn't make it any easier. These area wide snowfalls are the ones that really pack a punch because the snow is everywhere. Brandon Simmons is down in Summit County now where like the rest of us, they are digging out. Brandon have conditions improved at least a little bit through the day today. Definitely improved a, a little bit down here. You can see the snow is uh, barely falling right now, but as you mentioned earlier, you can see some black pavement on the roads behind me. Of course, that's a good thing, but uh, overnight, early morning, even into the afternoon, that's when we saw all of those problems where snowplow drivers had issues. And of course, people who were trying to leave from their homes, they had problems too. I can tell you earlier today, we saw a lot of people with shovels out, with uh, snow blowers out working in their yards, trying to get them clear. And most of the people I spoke to down this way had a similar response. They said it's a little bit more snow than we expected. One person told me he's lived in the northern part of Summit County for more than five years, and this is easily the most snow he's seen come in one night. Now that quick snowfall made it hard for road crews as well. However, the cities are starting to catch up, as you said, and they should be moving into the side streets to clear those out as well. Now, as for ODOT, their work will continue into the overnight hours to make sure all the roads are as safe as possible. You'll see multiple plows working together in groups of three, four, five, maybe even up to six, working together on those multi-lane interstates to clear that inside shoulder along those median walls where that snow has piled up and there's nowhere else for it to go. So giving our snow plows plenty of room to work into the evening hours is also going to be very important. Now, you definitely want to make sure you give all of those plows all the space they need to work. Cars never win when they get tangled up with those snow plow trucks. Now, depending on who you ask, all this snow isn't all bad. There are a few people who were out today having a lot of fun. I mean, this is the perfect weather for sledding, snowboarding, and skiing. I found a lot of people enjoying the hills, the snow hills, while all of this snow is still fresh. I guess that's when they say it's the most fun. Now, parts of Summit County, Betsy, as you know, including Stowe, Sagamore Hills, and Fairlawn, they all got more than 14 inches of snow, and I can tell you, I've lived down this way for some years now, and I can tell you, that's a few more inches than what I like to see. However, we know it's not quite as bad as what we saw up in the northeastern part, like Lake right. County, Ashtabula. So I guess we'll just live with uh, 16 inches or so, which is what they got in Stowe. I'd rather see that than the 26 you mentioned earlier. That's true. A lot of folks say once you get past 12 inches, it really doesn't matter, but I think that's dependent upon <laughs> sure. which end of the shovel you're on, most certainly. Thank Thanks so much, Brandon. Appreciate the info.